summer holidays are nearly over, and just like any other parent Kate, Duchess of Cambridge would be preparing to send her three youngsters back to school. After a fun-filled summer, Prince George, Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte will return to school this September. The Cambridges have been making the most of their summer holidays. The royal trio are thought to have enjoyed a trip to the Isles of Scilly with their parents in July. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will move the family to Windsor with their children set to all start at the same school in September. George has grown quite a lot over the summer and so a new order will likely go into Perry's, the school outfitters, for some larger items as he's gone up a size. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are known to be hands-on parents who, despite having a trusted nanny and aides, want to take care of their children's needs firsthand as much as possible. Among parenting duties they have been spotted personally dealing with over the years is shopping ahead of a school year. This year, Kate and William will have some major school shopping to do given all their children are starting a new school. Prince William and Kate will have to make sure their fast-growing children look the part with new uniforms this September. From the start of term Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will join Lanebrook School, near Ascot and close to Windsor Castle. Lanebrook is an independent school which is home to 620 boys and girls, set in 52 acres of the Berkshire countryside. This is very much a decision the two parents have made to give their children the most normal start possible. Kate seems keen to mingle with the other mums, and has been known to join parents for drinks at the pub. As parents Kate and William are also very good at rolling up their sleeves and helping out with school events, sports days, fundraisers and that sort of thing. They try to be just like normal parents with normal parenting challenges. At Lame Brook, which admits both day and boarding pupils aged 3 to 13, the young Cambridges would be able to enjoy an array of clubs and activities alongside their daily studies. The school boasts a nine-hole golf course a 25-metre swimming pool and acres dedicated to pitches to play football, rugby and polo. This variety will have surely delighted Kate and William, who strongly believe sports and spending time outdoors have a positive impact on the development and mental well-being of children. For the past few years Prince George and Princess Charlotte attended Thomas's school in Battersea, South London. But now they'll also be joined by younger brother Prince Louis, four who went to Wilcox Nursery School in London. Adelaide Cottage is a grade 2 listed four-bedroom home and living there will mean William, Kate, George, Charlotte and Lewis are just ten minutes walk southeast from the Queen at Windsor Castle. Even closer is Frogmore Cottage which the Duke and Duchess of Sussex use when visiting the UK. The palace's apartment 1A was refurbished in 2013. However, Kate and William only settled down there in 2017, after the Duke gave up his job as a helicopter pilot based in Norfolk to become a full-time working member of the firm. After moving into Adelaide Cottage, Kate and William will also keep hold of Anmer Hall, their beloved house in Sandringham, where they spend most of their breaks and weekend. Anmer Hall, a residence on the Queen's Sandringham estate, is Kate and William's happy place. The inside added Kate and Prince William would be making Anne Hall their permanent base after the school years. In the immediate future, the reported royal residence shake-up would see the Cambridges retain Kensington Palace as their main home in London and site of their private and press office. However, their stay here would be temporary, it is understood the Cambridges could move into Windsor Castle once Prince Charles becomes king as the heir to the throne is not planning to spend as much time in Berkshire as his mother does. Prince William and Kate are reportedly moving to Windsor from their Kensington home to be closer to the Queen, who has been suffering with mobility issues. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will not have a live in nanny after they move their family to a modest new home in Windsor. The move may be orchestrated to make the Cambridges seem less out of touch but it's unlikely to garner much public sympathy during a deepening cost-of-living crisis. Ms. Bora Lowe will be kept on as a nanny for the children but will have to move off-site, with a number of other live-in members of staff. The live-in housekeeper and chef are among those being forced to relocate from the Cambridge's residence.